Imagine a world where the unknown becomes known, where extraterrestrial encounters aren't just figments of imagination, but a reality. Such a world began to take shape in the minds of many, starting with an event that occurred in the summer of 1947 in Roswell, New Mexico. An object, initially reported as a flying disc, crashed on a local ranch, sparking a media frenzy and stirring up a storm of public interest. However, the U.S. military was quick to retract the claim, stating that the object was merely a weather balloon, but the damage was done. The public's imagination was ignited, and the seed of extraterrestrial curiosity was sown. Conspiracy theories began to sprout, growing into a global fascination with the possibility of life beyond our own planet. The Roswell incident served as a catalyst, sparking widespread interest and curiosity in extraterrestrial encounters. This marked the dawn of an era where the line between science fiction and reality began to blur. Fast forward to 1955, where a rural family in Kentucky experienced an encounter that would leave them, and the nation, forever changed. In the town of Kelly Hopkinsville, a quiet evening turned into a night of terror, as the Sutton family reported being besieged by a horde of small, goblin-like creatures. The family described them as having large, gleaming eyes, and their bodies seemed to give off an eerie, luminescent glow. Panic turned into pandemonium as these creatures reportedly attacked their humble farmhouse. The family held their ground, fending off the strange invaders until dawn. When the local law enforcement arrived, they found no trace of the creatures, but were met with a family in distress and a house riddled with bullet holes. In the aftermath, skepticism abounded. Many dismissed the Sutton's tale as a hoax, a figment of overactive imaginations. Yet, the family stood by their story, steadfast and unyielding. The Kelly Hopkinsville case remains one of the most controversial and widely debated encounters in history. As the decades rolled on, encounters with the unknown only seemed to multiply. A wave of peculiar incidents swept across the nation. In 1961, Betty and Barney Hill claimed to have been abducted by extraterrestrials, an event that sparked widespread intrigue and skepticism. Fast forward to 1975, Travis Walton, a logger from Arizona, disappeared for five days, later recounting an extraordinary tale of alien abduction that captivated the public and the media. Then, in 1997, thousands witnessed the Phoenix Lights, a mass UFO sighting that remains unexplained to this day. The public's fascination with these encounters grew exponentially, fueling a cultural phenomenon that spanned literature, film, and television. Yet, the government's response was often a dismissive silence, a refusal to validate these experiences, or a quick explanation that left more questions than answers. These encounters, whether real or imagined, had a profound impact on our culture, shaping our collective narrative about extraterrestrial life. In recent years, the conversation has shifted, spurred by startling revelations and an increasingly vocal public. Our journey through time lands us in the 21st century, in the era of the USS Nimitz UFO incident. In 2004, off the coast of Southern California, a US Navy Super Hornet fighter jet locked onto an object that defied the laws of physics, a UFO that later came to be known as the Tic Tac. This encounter, captured on video and radar, challenged our understanding of reality and sparked a wave of questions that are yet to be answered. Fast forward to 2017, a year that marked a turning point in the narrative of extraterrestrial encounters. The Pentagon, the nerve center of the U.S. military, admitted to running a secret UFO investigation program. Known as the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program, this covert operation aimed to investigate unexplained aerial phenomena. This disclosure, while shocking, fueled a growing push for transparency from the public and some government officials. We find ourselves in an age where the once fringe topic of UFOs and alien encounters is now part of mainstream conversation. The voices demanding disclosure are growing louder, echoing in the halls of power and resonating with those who have had their own unexplained experiences. The disclosure movement, a collective effort to uncover the truth about extraterrestrial life, is gaining momentum. Scientists, researchers, politicians, and everyday citizens are joining forces, advocating for the declassification of UFO-related documents and data. Their goal is simple, to bring the truth to light, whatever it may be. In this era of modern encounters and growing public interest, the line between science fiction and reality is becoming increasingly blurred. We are on a quest, a quest to unveil the truth, to understand our place in the cosmos. The question remains, are we alone in the universe or are we part of a much larger cosmic neighborhood?